Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Quest for Glory 4 Shadows of Darkness. Alright, well, uh, Adavis has uh, shown his face. He tricked us with a, uh, a note that was supposedly from Katrina, and now he has abducted us and uh, left, left us in his terrible, dingy S&M dungeon. Uh, of course, he uh, was kind of a shoddy uh, um, uh, prison keeper and just used rusty chains to lock us up, and then and then you know stupidly left uh, you know a, a stake and uh, a hammer nearby for us. So um, uh, let's uh, go see about this uh, secret passage and uh, see if we can find him and kill him. You know, he kindly left uh, um, his, his uh, the the tools of his destruction for out for us. So let's make use of them. Now this now was uh, closely, pretty. There does seem to be something a bit odd about the design of the Iron looking. Maiden. We'll take a deep breath and step inside. Oh God! Oh! Oh! Hmm. You well, are in a lady's richly decorated bedroom. That didn't go the so badly. The coffin where there should be a bed seems a bit out of place, but there's no accounting for tastes. That's you true. You sense deadly danger here, to your body and your soul. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't take any vow of celibacy here. Plants help to keep the air fresh in here. Isn't it nice to know that even vampires can be environmentally sensitive? Indeed. Uh, you didn't read that second Plants part. Help to keep Either that or it's just been here. planted there to make Isn't you think nice they are. That even vamp the sculptures are so realistic they almost seem alive. And hungry. Ah, oh, kitty. Pet the kitty. Risk it. What if the sculpture really is alive? Oh, I don't think it would be. Only shards remain of the mirror. It appears to have been shattered by a single violent blow. Well, that's going to be seven years' bad luck, Katrina. You see some neatly inscribed notes on magical spells. Ooh. But they're mostly too esoteric oh. for you to understand. In any case, it would be unsafe to spend much time fiddling with the desk. The vampire might awaken at any moment. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Heavy brocade curtains break up the plain stone walls. Despite them, the room has an unnatural, death-like chilliness. And clearly they're just insulating the, uh, uh, from the heat outside. Top of this ornamental shield is shaped like a bat on the wing. Okay. The curtain has a soft, feminine appearance. A stark contrast to the hard-edged coffin, which serves as a bed. Judging from the size of these pots, Katrina must really earn a lot. Oh. This is the biggest urn you've seen yet. You might say it's Ernest. <sighs> Ernest goes to the vampire's bedroom. Uh, let's take a look at this Where coffin. Where bed would normally be is a closed coffin. It is an ornate affair, apparently custom designed for someone who expected to be in and out of it frequently. Well, you would want something like that, I suppose. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick save. Let's go ahead and replace that. All right, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and open this up. You know, I kind of get the feeling that uh, this is all too smooth, and we're going to the wrong person. Shouldn't we be going after Adavis? Um, hi, Katrina. Well, as long as we're here, I guess we could just kill her. You know, she's a vampire and all. Taking a deep breath, oh, that was a lot place of blood. the stake over the vampire's black heart and pound it in with three mighty blows of the hammer. Yeah, I'd like to give something else. Ah, uh, no, no, never mind. corpse in the coffin. You never thought that killing a vampire would be anywhere near this easy. Ah, it wasn't uh, King's Quest Two. Oh, hi. Oh, crap. I am free of her dominion over me. You did precisely what I wanted you to do. Destroy Katrina. Damn it! So nice of you to cooperate. Thought it was too easy. You did that on purpose, you bastard. Oh, I want that spell. Ooh, I'm I'm a little uh, toasty here. Adavis unleashed. You really helped Adavis this time. By getting rid of Katrina, you only turned him loose. Oh. Well, crud. Uh can we restore? And uh maybe not kill her? Huh? Uh, what about, uh, magic? Do I have any magic? This isn't a good place to use that spell. I'm actually out of magic points right now. This isn't... This isn't... 
Alright, I get the feeling that I'm not going to be able to. Well, you know, if we're gonna die, we might as well cop a feel. <laughs> oh, hey! Kill Katrina! Wait, <laughs> Katrina, cop a feel! Kiss Katrina! <laughs> oh, we are, we are so trying all of these. Um, well, we've done kill Katrina. Uh, let's cop a feel. She won't duck away this time. You decide to perform an anatomical survey to prove once and for all uh, whether no. or not we're, we're not checking her mouth. Fact, a vampire. We're not checking her mouth. Come on. Squeezing Coppins. her cold but soft flesh. Okay. You have good. no choice but to conclude that she really is undead. Whoops. Oh, but it is quite soft. Uh. Suddenly you morning, find yourself totally unable to move. You! What are you? How dare you try to kill me? Then? No, I was just trying to cop a feel. Wait, that doesn't. I'm not sure that that's any dare better. You! You break into my home, steal away my child, kill my servant Toby, Wait, and I didn't then kill him. return to kill me. After I befriended you and helped you, some hero you are. I All right. Well, let's. Uh, we'll be uh, getting that in a moment. Uh, that's a little bit of a teaser there for. Uh, Mmm. Ah, uh, dungeon play, shall we say? Um. This will go for the uh, the kiss. Are we gonna get basically the same thing? Morning, honey. Uh, kiss. Now's your chance. You lean over the open coffin and kiss Katrina long and hard on the lips. That was good for you. You find yourself totally unable to. What? Oh, oh! Actually, she actually said something different. Well, shoot. Maybe I want to go with that one as the uh, the real one. Let's uh, let's try the uh, the waker. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. You lean over the coffin. And gently shake Katrina away. Uh, I just thought that you might want to know that your uh, subordinate wanted me to kill you. Just, Suddenly, just you find put that out there for totally you. Totally unable to move. Uh, breakfast in bed. You? What are you? How dare you try to kill me? Where you? So it's basically the same same comment. If we if we, you know, we we just wanted to let you know that your subordinate was trying to wanted us to kill you, and we didn't actually follow through on it. Uh. Discounting that that one time that I I did it and and died, but that didn't happen. All right, let's go ahead and kiss her. Now's your chance. Suddenly you find your what? What are you doing here? How did you get in here? You dare to kiss me? Well, you befriended me. How dare me. you? You break into my home, steal away my child. Kill my servant, I didn't kill Toby. He did it himself. To kill me? No, I came to kiss you. you. Some hero you are. I, uh, I kill and kiss is close, I know, but not. I should let the rats gnaw your bones while you hang there. Give me one reason, one excuse why I should not leave you here to die. I came to kiss you. Oh boy! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, oh my! Um, tell about Adavis. Plead for mercy. Defend your actions. Tell about child. Tell Katrina you love her. Uh, or we could just talk to her. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and save it real fast. Just in case we don't get to talk about all of these things. Oh my! Uh, let's tell about Adavis. You tell her about how Ad Avis brought you here and set you up. Ad Avis. Yes, that does sound like him. He cannot harm me directly. I am his vampire master, after all. Plotting against me and trying to use you are very much his style. You know, you might want to fire him. it was him. not Ad Avis who stole Tanya from me! Mm. You broke into my home and Oop. took my child away! Why should I show you any? You stole her first. All right, so say you're sorry. You apologize profusely for disturbing Katrina's rest. Yeah, that'll work, right? Oh, is that supposed to make it all better? Yeah. 
It was all just a big misunderstanding. Let's kiss and make up. Well, we already got the kissing part done. I forgive you after you betrayed me again and again. Hmm. I have decided that I still have a use for you. Alive. If you help me, you may still manage to leave Mordavia without my mark upon you. Uh, I want you to let, me, let me just button up my collar here really tight. Rituals and return to the castle. Together, we will well, I already have three of them. And bring eternal night to this land. Somehow I'm not sure that that's any you better than what would have other hap otherwise happened. Or must I take more drastic measures to assure your your, your ventriloquizing? All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and restore, just so that uh, uh, we can talk about some of these other things. Plus, you know. More whipping time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Plead for mercy? You asked Katrina not to hurt you. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Afraid of a little pain? Does this whip scare you? Or maybe it's the thought of my teeth on your Oh, no. Actually, I thought you had punny bones behind the door there. I thought you were going to bring oh, them out. Is the big brave hero a little bit nervous hanging there? Eh, not really. <laughs> my pants are still on, so it's okay. As I was lying in my coffin with you leaning over. Well, I didn't kill you, now did I? One reason why I shouldn't give you what you so richly deserve. Um, I have lots of money. It came to me many years ago to learn from the one called the Dark Master. What he did not know was the Dark Master was a woman. He was quite appalled by the fact. Ah, he's just a misogynist jerk then, huh? Duel and lost. I met him my servant for 50 years. Until I grew bored with him and turned him loose. But I had you have a pretty big chip on your shoulder, don't you? he knew that on his death he would rise again as a vampire under my command. He has served me since the night you defeated him. Oops. He hates me, and he is waiting for the opportunity to drive a stick through my heart. Your, your lips but aren't moving he again. He cannot harm me unless I harm him first. So why did you attempt to destroy me instead of your old enemy, Adavis? Do you fear me that much? No. Uh, intentions. I want you to know what it is like to be helpless. I want you to feel what it is like to know your enemy has a weapon and you can't do anything. Anything to stop them from killing you. I want you to know what it is like to be trapped away, never again to see the sunlight. Well, you could just look for then a cure. Then perhaps you will understand why I have done what I have done. Then maybe you will realize why I needed someone who could walk openly in the daylight, could talk and make friends with people. Why I wanted your help. Still, I I, I think that using me to uh, summon the dark one seems like, I don't know. Uh, not quite the same thing. Uh, explanations. I summoned you here to Mordavia. Adavis told me how you defeated him, and I needed someone resourceful and powerful. Oh, that, that's me to the a team. The summoning spell was interrupted by the magic from the Dark One's cave, and you appeared there. I opened the cave mouth and hoped you could find your way out. Oh, I did. I tried to make you think that I was a real woman. Someone to talk to and be your friend. Nah, I wasn't really you fooled. You don't know how long it has been since I have had a real friend. I wanted your help. That is why you are here. And now you only need to know what I want you to do. You will help me. No matter what, you will do what I want. Does that satisfy your So we're going to get married? Is that what you're saying? Then why don't you satisfy mine? What were you trying to prove by opening my coffin? Well, there weren't any other exits out of the room. Uh, Katrina? I am a vampire, yes. I am a powerful magic user as well. I am also a woman. And water is wet and fire is hot? You. I have never met anyone like All you. All the ladies are. I trusted you. Then you destroy the child I loved. I didn't destroy her. to my home to destroy me. How could you? Why? Well, you are kind of a vampire. 
Um. Uh, explain your actions. To try to explain what you're doing in Katrina's bedroom. Uh, we're doing. Trying to find an exit from the dungeon. Yes, I was. Just couldn't pass up a chance to look at the helpless vampire, could you? And Copperfield. Funny place to look for an escape route, wasn't it? Well, not really. I've seen plenty I of uh, magician uh, have... magician you shows. All right, let's skip all of that. Let's go ahead and restore again. There's one last thing that uh, hopefully it'll put her off her uh, feet a little bit. I'll talk to her again to get get through all of that, that other dialogue once the come on game load. Thank you. Ah, good. Got got that whip in there. Oops. All right. Tell Katrina you love her. Eh? Eh? <laughs> All right. Do you really expect me to believe you? Yes. I bet you say that to every girl who chains you up and holds a whip. Well, I can't exactly you say that's happened a lot. You love me and then break my heart with a wooden stake, no doubt. Only if you force me to. You protest that you were only trying to kiss her in the coffin. Who do you think I am? Sleeping beauty? Wake me with a kiss. Ha! Why did you break into my home and disturb my sleep? Now, before I lose my patience with you. Pretty sure you're losing your patience with me already. Um, wasn't there? Okay, hmm. There was an option about telling about the child, wasn't there? I don't remember seeing it last time. Might have to go back to the previous save. Come on. Hmm. A little bit slow to load up here, game. Let's wait, wait for the whip to get in. Ah, oh, it hurts so good. Uh, tell about child. To tell how you returned the child to her parents, and how happy she is now. Yeah, yeah, happy kids. I loved her. I gave her everything she ever wanted. Toys, Toby to talk and play with. Yeah, but you took away her parents. She was no longer and afraid of the night. Life. She was happy here. But she was afraid of the day. Tell Katrina that Tanya is happy now. You think it was wrong of me to take her from her parents? Yes? They ignored her. They never gave her anything. I gave her everything. Yeah, you can't just give people you stuff. Remind though. Katrina that she did kill Tanya. Yeah. Killed her? I lifted her to a new life. Unlife. One where she would not have to fear growing old and ugly. One yeah, where she, she wouldn't would grow never up have either. To die again. You were the one who killed her! The return to, to fear and, and age and, and to face death again. Oh, come on. I, you... I loved her. And she loved me. You're, you're, you know... Okay, so... She, she's basically saying that she wouldn't have to fear death as an undead. Except here I am with a stake and a hammer... And she is, and Katrina is currently whipping me because I broke in and could have killed her. Katrina no longer bears any resemblance to the innocent peasant girl who pretended to be well, your that's... friend. She is now revealed in the full extent of her power and anger. As a dominatrix. My, you're looking heroic today. Tied up as you are. All right. Uh, ow. Ooh, feels good. Um, let's go through all of that again. Do, 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 do. I. You do that. All right. Tell her you love her. Is it gonna be the exact same? Liar! You oh, think eh. I am stupid enough to believe? It's different. Love. You stole from me the only one who ever really loved me, Tanya. Is is that how you show your love? Well, I I did, oh, you know, or perhaps not you kill you. Love by breaking into my bedroom and attacking me while I am helpless. You tell her that you only wanted to kiss her, not hurt her. You have already hurt me. 
I wonder if you get some different option. Oh man, I want to see if you get different options if you cop a feel. You are just like all men, a liar who will say anything to get what you want. I have decided that I still. Yeah, someone broke your heart a while ago, didn't didn't they? If you help me, you may still. I want you to seek out the five missing. Together, we will. You will help me, won't? Well, um, Katrina's mark. The telltale mark of a vampire's victim is the pair of puncture wounds on the throat. Well, clearly you could. I mean, surely you could. You could bite somewhere else, right? The dark one lies dreaming between this world and its own. Oh, why would you the want to wake him up then? Only is a temple to the dark one. It is the dark one. I need Ugh, the gross. rituals in order to bring the Dark One back into this world. Why would you want to do that, though? The Dark One will cast the shadow of darkness upon this land. Daylight will never come again. Then Daylight I will no go home? longer need to sleep helpless in my coffin. I will no longer be vulnerable to any mere human who seeks to drive a stake through my heart. See, you're clearly afraid I of dying. I truly will be the Dark. Master. Uh, drastic methods? I can bite your throat and lick your blood until you are vacant. You will then be alive, but under my complete control. Well, let's not say However, you say we did. How's that? You would find it difficult to think clearly, and it would take Ooh, you a I don't, I long like that. time to heal. You would be very vulnerable to attack from the monsters of the night. Oh, I can heal myself. I'm Since a paladin. I do not want you to die just yet, I will restrain myself from caressing your very hands. Oh, that is rather nice, my isn't it? Teeth. For now, anyway. Oh, all right. I guess I can help you. Oh, look! <laughs> Agree to help. It's their only option. You tell Katrina that you'll do anything, anything at all, if she'll just let you go and not rip your throat out. Very well. But because I can never complete the I would do anything for you, but I not make certain that. you carry out my bidding. And uh, that didn't quite come out right. Whee! By my will, I guess thee. Code thou guess? shalt seek the heart ritual of the Dark One. Thou shalt seek the blood ritual of the Dark One. Thou shalt seek. I don't the think this uh, song is going to hit the top forty. One. Thou just, shalt seek the bone just gonna go out there on a limb the and say that. One. Thou shalt seek the sense ritual of the dark one. Return with these rituals ere three nights pass, lest ye suffer. Hmm, that doesn't Thus sound good. Is your guess. So go and return with the rituals. Is a green-haired girl sitting I around somewhere? I don't want you to suffer after all. <laughs> oh come on! You were just whipping me. We. Oui. Um. Hmm. So what time is it now, anyway? That's midnight. Well, you know, that calls for. Uh, um. I guess I could save over this one. I could always go back to twenty-seven. Uh, uh, I was pretty close right uh, before that. Well, uh, let's go. See what happens if we uh, just say, you know, screw it. We're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do any of this stuff. Uh, climb over the gate. Deathly. A shiver of cold. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, Piotr. You serve to not get the All right, it's the exact same thing. All right. It's not my fault. You can't blame me for serving them. Let's go ahead and climb up into our room. You have another dream. This time, uh, don't touch anything. I think I'm starting to see something. Hey, Erasmus! All right. It looks like something really weird. You're seeing my reflection on the glass. Uh, that is pretty weird, all right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I think if I just uh, apply a little magical zap to this wire here... Uh, actually, that's not a wire. That's the tip of your beard. 
That's a pretty wiry what? beard. My my beard, I Ah A strange voice speaks. He's dead, Jim. Name that episode. You slowly awaken. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Oh, I love Erasmus and Fenris. They're so great. Uh, I'm gonna have to do. All right, let's uh, let me pause this. All right, I think we're uh, just about Arcus, there. The sound of your heart beating fills your ears. Even your bones are starting to hurt. You know you must find those rituals quickly. So I've been getting these uh, progressively uh, worse. All right. Hmm. Ah. Been getting progressively worse messages, but uh, maybe we uh, just have until morning. You haven't. This time. All right. It's the exact same. I've had the exact same dream every night. You awake? No. Hmm. All right. So this is like the sixth After day, really. This is just getting a little bit ridiculous at this point. Probably would have been uh, faster if I'd done this in uh, Arana's garden, but... Come on, game, just kill me already. It's like the time, the one time that I want them to want the game to kill me quickly. All right, this time. After some pain is burning in your chest, as if your heart can barely stand to pump. You can only breathe in quick, short pants, as if your lungs can no longer contain air. Ah, seems like I just ran some distance. No, seriously, I, I still have more time. All right, now I get to sleep until morning. I do. Is it gonna kill me? This time. Seriously, the exact same dream. You awake. And it still has not killed me. Really, game? Come on. Just, just kill me already. I want to see what the message is. This is, uh, this is a lot of effort for uh, one, one death message. I find it amusing that I keep getting the same Erasmus Fenris uh, dream as well. After some re the sound of your heart beating fills your ears. Even your bones are starting to hurt. You know you must find those rituals quickly. I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on. Just, just kill me already. <laughs> Alright, come on. Sleep until morning. Get you have enough. This time. Yeah, it's the exact same dream. Jeez. Nope. Still not dead. This is like seven days in or something now. You know what? Let's actually t take a look at our, our stats. No, it's not actually doing anything like uh, decreasing our stats. Which was uh, something that I was thinking might might happen is, uh, you know, like every day past the, the limit you lose 50 hit points or something like that that you can't regain until you uh, get down to zero and die. You know, that could definitely take a while with as many hit points as I have, but... Uh... Alright, alright. Oh, shoot! Missed it. Off. Click too fast. You have... This you awake? Oh, come on, game. This Office. is just getting ridiculous now. You tell me I'm on the time limit in a Sierra game, and then you, you just kind of, like, tack on a bonus week? <laughs> well, you've got three days, but it's really more like ten. That's, that's not three!
<sighs> okay. After a pain is burning in your chest as if your heart can barely stand to pump, you can only breathe in quick, short pants as if your lungs can no longer contain air. Didn't we get this one already? After you have a this time. What? This Maybe there awake. isn't actually a time limit. I don't know. Maybe we have to leave the inn. Pay the innkeeper for your thank you for. <laughs> Probably haven't paid the him in a while. Days are getting cooler and shorter. Winter is approaching. Huh. Well, uh, all right. After some, you don't have any rations. Oh, that's uh. After. That is uh something that that will happen. After. <laughs> Did not think about after. that. Hey, well, we might get a different death message. After. After some... Ah, that was just the 30 minutes. After... 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 After some... After You're really getting... That'll be fine, me. After... After... Alright, let's see what happens if we go back up to the, uh, castle. Nope. All right, well, uh, let's go to Arana's garden. Ah, don't want to fight you. There we go. All right, what happens if we uh, sleep until morning here? Whoop. You awaken as the sun. Gradually wake, feeling relaxed and rested from the night's dream. Didn't actually have a dream. Well, hmm. After some... After... You're starving. You better find some food. Eh, it'll be fine. After... I guess we'll starve After to death. After. 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 Well, I really wanted to see what would happen After. if we, uh. After. Let's head back up in here. After. You're starving. I wonder if this place protects you from the Gius. You awaken. Kind of seems like it does. Gradually wake. Hmm. That's a little unfortunate. You're starving. The days. Yep, I I got that. It's fine. You unlocked. All right. Well, uh, back to our uh, our bedroom here. This will be the last uh, night that I do this, though. I mean, if this doesn't kill me, then I'm just kind of, kind of gonna conclude that you can't actually die from the Gius. After, which is like shocking to me as a for After. a a Sierra game. 
after. It's like, what, what, what the hell are you talking about that I can't die from, from, off the Gius in, in a Sierra game? Off. Yes, I'm, I'm starving. It's fine. Oh shoot! Totally missed that message too. Off to some. Let's sleep until morning. You no dream. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm just gonna conclude that you can't actually die from the Geass unless maybe you go back to Katrina and then she kills you or something like that. I don't know. In the next episode, we will uh, reload our save and uh, um, actually go look for these rituals. Sorry for the, uh, the waste. You better find some food soon time at the uh, end of this episode. Interestingly enough, if you just rest for 60 minutes uh, uh, every time that happens, you, you will be fine. Sleep! It's a way to avoid starvation, apparently. It's good to know. Anyway, I shall see you all next time.